Hi everyone, in this video you're going to learn how to use the isometric drawing tool um, and this is offered by NZTM. So what this tool does is it lets you make isometric parts with cubes. So these are basically parts made of cubes, which is seen in a certain view called the isometric view. So what we're going to do is we're going to design a few parts in the drawing tool. So as you can see here, here are some examples of a part that I would like to create. Remember, you should be creating different parts. But for an example, I would like to create this part one, which is dark pink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to my drawing tool and make sure I'm in the create tab. So it's going to say create, and there's another tab called inspect. When you click on it, the tab should turn white and black, and that's how you know you're in the tab. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come to the top left corner where and click on the cube with the plus sign on it. And that's going to put you in a mode called create a cube. When you hover over it for long enough, When you hover over it, it's going to say create cube. When you click on it, it's going to highlight yellow. So then what you're going to do is after you click on the tool, you're going to select a color. I'm going to make mine dark pink. And then I'm going to start creating my tool, my cube, in my part. I see that my cube has one cube followed by another cube to the right. And that cube is has two cubes built to the right and then that cube that it's ended on has one cube built to the left. So what we're going to do is just a brief before we get started thing. When your cube turns red, the area where the cube turns red is all a space where you cannot build your cube part. But when it's blue, that's the area where you can build your cube. So back to the part. What we're going to do is we're going to select one cube and then if you want to build a cube right next to it, you're going to move your cursor in the direction that you want to build the cube in. So if you wanted to build it to the right of the cube, you'd move it to the right. If you wanted to move it to the left, you'd move it to the left. Up, the, move the cursor up or down, uh, move the cursor down. but so I want to build mine to the right. So I'm going to move my cursor to the right and I'm going to click. Then I'm going to do the same thing. I wanted two more blocks to the right. So I'm going to click here once and then move my cursor to the right and click again. And then I'm going to create my piece right in front of the piece. So there's your part. So then what I'm going to do is I want to take a picture of this and insert it into my Word document. So what I'm going to do is I'm first going to come to my same piece where I clicked create a cube and underneath it, it's going to be a pointer tool. You're going to click on the pointer tool and then go to Word and create a new document. So this is what your screen is going to look like. Click on blank document and name it um, cube project isometric parts for cube project I apologize so you're going to name it isometric parts for cube project then where you want to, when in this place where you want to insert your part, what you're going to do is you're going to label your part, part one, followed by a brief description of the color. So here we can see that it's a dark shade of pink. So we're going to call it dark pink in parentheses. Then put a colon, semicolon and click enter. Then go to your Windows button or the Start button on your screen and next to it, there will be a search bar. Click on the search bar 
and type in snipping, S N, and the snipping tool should appear. Click on the snipping tool and then click on new. And then select the area where you want to create your part like this. Then what you're going to do is you're going to right click in the snipping tool and click on copy. Then you're going to go to your Word document, right click and click on this clipboard with the picture. And that's going to insert your part. So let's do another example. Let's say I want to create my second part, which is this teal part, right? What I'm going to do is every time you create a new part, you need to delete the part before it to create more space for your second part. So, or your new part. Then what you're going to do is, again, you're going to enter the create cube button, and then you're going to select a color. Mine will be teal this time. And then I'm going to look at, think, look at my part. And I see that it has three cubes with one cube um, to the right of the middle piece. So I'm going to make three cubes, which are to the right of each other. And then I'm going to make a cube, which is to the right of the middle piece. Oops. So if you ever make a mistake like this, you can come to the eraser tool over here and click on it and click on the cube that you want to delete. Then re-enter the cube mode to create your new cube. So this is my second piece. I'm going to enter my pointer tool, then come to my snipping tool and click on new. Again, there is no need to save your piece. So what you're going to do is you're going to select the area which captures the part. Right click, do not save and click copy. Go to your Word document. Label your part, part two, followed by the color. So I'll make mine teal. And then click enter, right click, and click on the clipboard with the picture. When you hover over it, it should say picture in parentheses view. That's how you know you're clicking on the right one. And your picture will be inserted. After you've saved your project or after you've done inserting all the parts of your project what you're going to do is you're going to click Control s or if you want to see that in action you're going to go to file or actually return back and go to your top bar over here and click on the save button it's going to pop this tab up and you're going to save it to your folders and i'm going to save mine to the downloads and you're going to label your file name um your project name which is q project and click underscore your last name minus prasad and my your first initial which is s followed by your period so i'm say in period one engineering i'm gonna type in pd1 and then i'm gonna click the save button over here and that's how you save your document so yep that's it bye